Hello YouTube. In my last video, I talked about um, setting up the onboard computer, or LCD. In this video, I'm going to talk about setting up the controller. They are two intelligent devices that talk to each other, and they have different setup. So, let's go in here, and then devices is already the option picked, and hit the enter button. Um, if there was multiple controllers listed, if there was multiple controllers connected, rather, to the LCD, they'd be listed. But there's only one, so just hit enter. Okay, uh, just like the LCD, um, you make changes, do a save. <laughs> if you don't, you lose the saves. Okay, auto setup. Let's go in there. Um, for some reason or other, your, I don't know, throttle's not working, or you want to see it's working. Um, you could go in here, so it's kind of like quickie diagnostics, if you will, but it's also going to set things up, too. So, I would suggest that you don't really use this unless things are wrong and you need to get them working again. But full setup is going to go through everything, so all your throttles, uh, retest the motor, so on and so forth. I would say probably don't do this unless you absolutely can't make anything work, and that maybe that's the answer. But probably don't. Okay, updates and settings. Um, it's a good chance it'll be in here. Uh, so, like right now, I've just made a change this controller. So I'm going to set that to yes, and then no, oh, it's not saving. Let's try it again. Okay. There we go. Now it's working. So configuration save. Thank you so much. Don't know what that was about. Uh, it's also possible. Uh, oh, so so um, yeah. <laughs> You have screwed things up, and you've done a load defaults, and now you want to bring your settings back in. That's where you're going to do an import. So, yes, it's quite possible that you might screw things up, and then you set it back to factory, and then bring in your changes. Otherwise, um, you might do an upward update firmware. Uh, and on my little SD card, I have firmware, which is already on here, so it's got 079 on it already. Um, so it's possible you might need to do a firmware update. So you would do the same thing, set that to on, hit enter, and then it's going to read the firmware and do its thing. Okay, that's that. Control modes. Uh, you will very likely make changes in here. For example, this controller and motor are set up, but what actual speeds are on the AV, well, that's still up in the air. So. Uh, speed 1, which is low, uh, might be too fast. I've got it set to 50% of maximum motor RPM. It might be too slow. I don't know. <laughs> so I might change the speed. Uh, or it may be that I want the motor less torquey. So I would probably set um, the phase 1 amps to less or whatever. Um, speed 2, so I'm only using low and medium on this controller, not uh, 3. So uh, the, the number three settings in here are arbitrary, they don't matter, uh, but uh, it may be that uh, I can get more torque out of the motor. And I honestly don't know yet, because I haven't ran the motor on the EV yet. But it may be that 250 phase amps is not full power. So it's possible that I go for 300 phase amps, or 260, or I don't know. Or maybe that 250 is too high and I need to turn it down. So anyway, it's quite possible that phase amps, um, and so yeah, phase amps could possibly be changed, um, but speed one could definitely be changed. Uh, speed two probably never, um, but it's possible that phase two might get changed, you know, higher or lower, depending. All right, next thing down, speed three, leave alone, or I mean, say number three settings, leave alone. Um, breaking phase um, might need to be changed, so uh, regen uh, throttle is crammed all the way to full and it just locks up the back wheel well turn that down because <laughs> it's too high uh, or just simply hit the regen throttle less hard that'll work too um, speed reverse and phase reverse these might need to be changed again won't know until it's actually on the EV and that's going to be more of a feel thing so 10% of full motor RPM may be too slow it may be too fast for reverse uh, phase reverse the motor may not have enough torque I might need to turn phase amps up um, so you know those settings might need to be changed uh, let's see here do, 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 yeah you're not going to change anything else 
So back, next option is advanced modes. And leave alone, do not change, do not set anything in here ever. Okay, <laughs> control. Um, it is possible you'll make some changes in here. So throttle mode would be uh, one of those possibilities. So the throttle can work in one of two configurations. Right now I have it in speed. So just listen. A little bit of throttle makes it go slow. Lots of throttle makes it go fast. Okay, the other option there is called torque. And um, with torque mode, less throttle means less torque. More throttle means more torque. In speed mode, or torque is always the same. You're adjusting motor RPMs rather than torque. So different way of controlling the motor. So it's possible you might change that just because of preference. I like speed and I like full torque all the time. Um, and I think that is it in there. Uh, it's possible because there is a cruise option and the wires brought out of the controller. You might want to use it so you would enable cruise and then there's a switch that you would connect to it. Otherwise, uh, I would say you're not going to screw with anything in here. Yep, not going to set anything else. Okay, motor setup. So in here, um, there is a possibility, but I would say please don't. <laughs> so pole pairs for the RV160SH is seven poles. So we'll leave that at seven. Um, there is a chance, and I can't imagine why you do it, because the motor is going to run best on field-oriented control, that you might change this to trapezoidal or sinusoidal. I can't imagine why you would. And, let's see here. Yep, don't screw with anything else. <laughs> okay, battery. It's possible you might want to make changes in here. So right now, um, full pack voltage, I've got set to 84 volts. That's going to allow a little bit of over spikes for regen. It's possible that it's not high enough, um, you know, depending on how strong regen is. Uh, you know, on, on a nearly full pack, it's possible that you might exceed 84 volts. So you might need to set that value higher. Because uh, what will happen is you exceed the voltage and the controller disables. Um, and, and you'll notice this because all of a sudden you're just like, you know, going down a hill, full regen, and the controller goes, it just stops. And you, now you have no regen at all, nothing works, no throttle, nothing. Um, and it's because you need to set this higher. Uh, and, and I've run into that from time to time. So it's maybe a possibility that 84 volts is not enough. Um, and uh, you might need to bump it higher to till uh, regen doesn't uh, exceed that voltage. Uh, it's not going to hurt anything because it's going to be a very short term uh, situation, so don't worry, your pack won't overcharge. Uh, the supply minimum, that is the bottom value for the pack, so 3 volts at 20S is really 60 volts. Oh, I'm giving myself a little bit more of a buffer by saying 64.19 volts. Uh, discharge max, 200 amps, uh, that should be fine. I don't know why you'd want to change that. Okay, next option is converter. Leave this alone, do not change any settings in here. IO configuration. Um, speeds mode, right, so switch for low and medium, that's a switch, you can do another option, don't screw with it, or anything else in here, leave alone, do not screw with, okay, extra parameters, um, on the back of the computer is a little button right there, and so, uh, disable button is set to button, that's what that does, uh, you could also put a switch on this thing, so like a key switch or something, in which case you'd set that to switch. Uh, I'd say probably don't change it. The controller can auto shut itself off, and right now I have that turned off, so auto shut down is set to off, and the sleep time is 300 seconds or five minutes. So if you want your controller to turn itself off after a certain amount of idle time, turn it on, change the time. Uh, so speed calculation you want on so that the computer shows you speed, duh. Uh, it's possible that the circle length, you'll need to change that. That's, you know, your tire size. In motor sprocket and wheel sprocket, it's quite possible you want to change those too. Uh, if your gear ratio is not 16 to 1, then you're definitely going to use different options. But uh, you could set the uh, motor sprocket to 1 and the wheel sprocket to 16, and that's still 16 to 1. Or 16 and 256, that's still 16 to 1. <laughs> Uh, it's it's not really important what the values are as long as you maintain your ratio and otherwise in here you're not going to change anything okay pid regulators do not screw with do not mess with anything leave alone status flags same thing do not change 
uh, debug information. Oh look, I can see the uh, the temperature of the uh, brains in the controller, I can see the temperature of the MOSFETs in the controller, and I can see the temperature of the motor, and I can also see current, voltage, things like that in the pack. Nothing really here other than just status information. Okay, device information. Um, again, this is the state of the controller, and it's right now running 0.7.9, which is the latest firmware. So, anyway, that is everything in this controller that you're going to care about. So, this is Debuttery saying, everyone, stay healthy. Watch out for that damn virus. Good grief. Hope that thing just dies off on its own. But, geez, we all need a vaccine or something. <clears throat> so this is Debuttery saying, stay healthy, stay away from the stupid SARS virus, and um, good luck and have a good life.